Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be sharing with you guys all the stuff that I bought. I got some makeup, perfume, and a bunch of books. I really wanted to enjoy the time while we were there so I didn't film. Well I took some b-roll, some clips, but not really like in a vlog kind of content. But before I begin I want to share all the fragrances that I brought with me. So I got two full bottles. I had to bring Jimmy Choo Illicit Flower with me because this was the scent that I was thinking of wearing when we were gonna go to the windmills and it's just a great spring summer scent musky fruity floral and it's the kind of scent that you know I don't have to think of like if I'm in the mood for it it's just like an easy grab easy wear kind of a fragrance and I also brought Valentino's Born in Roma Green Stravaganza because I just really wanted to wear this fragrance out and it's perfect for you know the warm but also cool kind of weather temperature while we were there it was like eight degrees six degrees cloudy it was sunny on some days it's a perfect scent for that kind of a weather and i got some travel sizes so i brought dolce and fundo with me this is a perfume aroma fragrance citrus vanilla and i think i wore this in one of our nights there and mainly as a bedtime scent and one of my most favorites, Aqua Ezuquero, also by Perfume Aroma. This was my travel fragrance. So when traveling, I want to wear a fragrance that's so comfortable to wear. Something that, you know, even in the tight like space of an airplane, it's not a scent that would bother me or bother other people. So this is the scent that I wore. And I think I wore this as well during my first day there. Um, I tried to wear as many fragrances as I could while we were there. I would wear a daytime fragrance and a nighttime fragrance. I don't usually do that, but, you know, it was fun while, you know, doing it while I was there. And I got um, the two replica travel sizes of Whispers in the Library and the other one is Coffee Break. These ones I wore mainly during the nighttime. Nights there were a bit cold and, you know, chilly. And perfect scents for that are these replica travels that I got with me. So I brought with me as well Eden Sparkling Lychee. And I think I'm halfway, almost halfway done through my um, mini or my travel size. So I didn't bring a lot of fragrances with me. Mainly four travels, five travel sizes and two full bottles, seven fragrances. And it was great because I was able to really use the fragrances and experience them. Okay, so let's go to some souvenirs. I'm going to put the beauty stuff and the perfume stuff at the end of the video. Very typical um, magnet from Amsterdam. You have to get the row of houses there. The hotel that we stayed at is right in the center. It's in a street called Damarak. And we're just a few minutes, like 500 meters away from the central station. So it was a perfect location. The hotel was really nice as well. Um, hotels are very expensive in Amsterdam. And I think the hotel it was like a two three star hotel mostly like a comfy something to sleep at kind of hotel but they had free breakfast i think we paid 800 and to 803 euros for the hotel which was basically the same amount that we paid for you know for the tickets but you know the location was perfect and we had pre free breakfast the reviews weren't really as you know um encouraging or they weren't really as positive people were saying you know they had the same breakfast every day but we're not choosy people you know we had eggs and bacon and beans and you know typical yogurt bread and everything ham cheese for breakfast we don't really care if we eat the same thing every day but anyway this was the view that we had in front of our hotel during the first day we went to um this whole day kind of a trip we went to marken island or the marken peninsula the volendam and Chansons, Franz Chans, I don't know, I forgot what it's called, but basically um, to look at the windmills and the shoe factory. So I had to get a windmill magnet. It's so cute. Yes, there. And the specific windmill that we went to was a windmill that made um, oil, I think linseed oil or peanut oil for paints. And we went to the shoe factory and I had to get myself a shoe magnet. I really wanted to get the clogs, like for myself. They're very comfortable to wear in the OR, but they're super heavy and they're pricey. And I got myself a cute magnet instead. Photo booth thingies. They're so funny. That's my husband there and my son. 
It's so funny because in all these photos, it's only Zach, my son, that looked at the camera because I was looking at the flash. My husband was looking at the button. And it was just so weird. And okay, more magnets. We went to Van Gogh Museum. I had to get the bedroom magnet because this was one of the paintings from my humanities class. And I was like, for some reason, it just speaks to me. You know, it's a simple painting of a bedroom but you know it's special to me so that's why I chose this and from the Rijks Museum I got this magnet because right when we were there they had a Franz Hals um, um, exhibition Franz Hals exhibit that's what I wanted to say and we also went to the Moko Museum it's a modern contemporary art museum and I had to get this one as well from the Moko Museum. So that's it when it comes to souvenirs and stuff. I Oh yeah, I forgot. I got some cheeses. So I had to go out and get the cheese. <laughs> I got the three piece um, Gouda cheese. So this one is pesto, this one is the natural one, and this one has herbs. And I'm not really, we also, oh yeah, we also went to the cheese factory during that whole day trip. It was a five hour trip. I think it was more than five hours. We started nine o'clock and we went home at three o'clock. So it was a tour that was definitely worth it. We visited one of the cheese factories there in Marken and I got this pack. And I also got the one with truffle, the coat, Gouda with truffles. And um, my, my husband gave that away to his boss. And I also got the three year old um, cheddar cheese. And that one he also gave away and he got a pack of like samples or like travel, like snack size, bite size cheeses. So we have cheddar, we have gouda with herbs and I want to say gouda, but yeah. And I'm not really a very big cheese person. Like I love cheese when, you know, pizza and pasta, but I'm not really very picky with cheese because I grew up with, you know, like fake cheese. So I was there. I was like, okay, I'm, I was interested. I was really curious with how they made their cheeses. And I know they're known for this Gouda cheese, Gouda cheese. But I really noticed a difference with how delicious they make their cheese compared to the cheese that I've tried here. These cheeses, like my husband and I were eating these just like we were eating gum, you know, they're so good creamy, milky. We also went to the Stroopwafel making and Stroopwafel tasting tour. I had to get this, you know, it's very typical like touristy stuff. I, I bought it for the can and I was like, okay, I'm not really, I wasn't really super excited with Stroopwafel because okay, it's a wafer, it's a, it's a cookie or something and then you have some caramel inside. It's like, mm. But then I tasted them and they were really, really good. I got the ones from the very first Stroop Waffle that I tried were the ones from Costco. And that box took us like a long time to finish because I didn't really like the taste. But this one, I can just munch on them, snack on them. And I kind of regret getting only one small tin of this. I might as just well talk about the perfumes. Okay, when we were there, I saw that only a few meters, a couple of hundred meters was the TK Max, which is like the TJ Max of the Netherlands. And I had to go and visit there. And this is the only perfume full bottle that I got from that store. This is the Chopard um, Happy Collection. And this is Magnolia Bouquet. They had every... I think fragrance from this collection, they had lemon dulce and the orange one, the green one and whatever. But this is the only one that I um, bought because I really wanted to get every single one. The, this was only for 16.95 euros. I really wanted to get every single one like for a collection, but it was like, I didn't need to get all of them. And I was drawn to the Magnolia because I love Magnolia and fragrances right now. And I didn't look up the notes when I smelled them. I blind um, sniffed them. And this was the one that really, um, that I really liked. So this is a 50 ml, I think, a 40 ml. What is this? How big is this bottle? This is an eau de toilette and it's a, wow. It's an eau de toilette and it's 1.4 fluid ounces or 40 ml. Look at the bottle, it's so cute. So, you know, how cute the bottle is, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get every single one. You can just imagine all the little 40ml bottles of the Happy Collection. But this is really nice. It has 
Davana, I think, and Magnolia is one of the main notes and some other um, citruses. Really, really beautiful. It's one of those like dressy, classy kind of floral. You definitely have to be a floral fragrance lover to enjoy this because this is extremely floral in a very friendly way. So I'm very happy with this purchase for $16.95 from TK Maxx. Um, happy Chopard Magnolia Bouquet. I really had to control myself while I was there. But when we went to one of their like malls, which was also just right in front of our hotel, I forgot the name. I'm going to put it on screen. They had every single niche perfume that I can ever imagine that I really, really wanted to try. And they were just there and they were just open for testing because I know some fancy malls or shopping districts. Um, there would be shop assistants that would always follow you around or they limit the amount of perfumes that you can sample. But everything was just there on display. So they had the... Um, like Montal fragrances, I'm washed. I finally smelled guidance. Um, yeah, no, I, I liked it, but it wasn't really, you know. And they had a bunch of Killian and some Tamine fragrances. Finally, I was able to smell the Tamine fragrances. Um, there were a lot of fragrances there. Um, Penhaligans. I had to go and test the Penhaligans. I think I was able to um, film some videos or like some clips, but you know, not every, there are not a lot of clips. Um, I was able to sample as well uh, a lot of Byredo fragrances, Frederick Mall, and um, some, what do you call them, uh, uh, Zerja fragrances and the velvety bottles. Also some uh, cinc Cinque Canto or V Canto, Cinco Canto, Cinque Canto uh, fragrances. I mean, a lot. I was like so... Also, yeah, some Dior fragrances. Finally, I was able to smell the Dior. Was it the private collection? And they were just there. They were just there like body mists. And I just had to spray and smell every single one. I was just overwhelmed with all the fragrances. I was I was in a culture shock um, situation while I was there because I just felt like, you know, oh my God, all the fragrances, all the brands and niche brands. And one particular niche brand there, Fragrance House, that really drew me in was... Um, I forgot the name, Dries, Dries Van Noten or something. I, I was drawn to that specific collection because of the bottles. As I was familiar with the bottles from seeing it all over on YouTube, especially um, the Zoe. I'm going to put the names on screen because I've seen it everywhere. Of course, I gravitated towards that fragrance. I sampled it and it smells really good. Um, I asked if they had smaller bottles, but then I knew they only had that big um, bottle, but the bottles are really beautiful. And that scent, I was really contemplating on getting that fragrance because initially on my skin, it smelled like sweet dates, but not in a very rich, thick way. It has chestnut, it has cacao. I don't know if it has dates, but that's how it smells like to me, like vanilla dates, cookies or something. And I was walking around, went up through the other floors, kept on smelling my hand. It smelled really good, but it was very expensive. And I wasn't really willing to spend that much. I didn't have the budget to buy that kind of fragrance for that kind of smell, you know. But, you know, it was really, really fun. Finally, you know, being able to test the fragrances. And they had a lot of teak fragrances as well. I really thought that I would be buying Low Papier when I was there. Um, I think they had it for like the small size for 95 or 125 euros or something. I forgot. But then I was like, you know, I don't need it now. Like it's not, I thought that I would be buying it right then and there. But, you know, it what I just, it just didn't feel right. So instead, I went to Juliet Has a Gun. And I, of course, I have Ode to Dullness as one of the fragrances that I really wanted to try. And I fell in love with it on first sniff. I almost got the... 50 ml I think but I was like I was very I'm very careful with my budget so I just got a travel size and I regret getting a travel size but I know it's the smartest move to start with a travel size because I didn't pay for any shipment or anything so I got the Ode to Dullness um, travel size I love this fragrance it's like a really you know it doesn't fit the name I know I'm super late in trying this and a lot of people have tried the fragrance, received PR, but it's a beautiful scent. It's a beautiful scent. It's the kind of scent that I would wear. And I also got Lily Fantasy because this was one of the many that I sampled. I was planning to get M, mm, but it wasn't available. And I really fell in love with this Gourmand, very floral scent. 
So I guess I'm just drawn to a lot of floral fragrances. So I got also a Travel of Lily Fantasy. So from that mall, I also got uh, Dior stuff. I got another Glow Face Palette from Dior. And this is in the shade Rose Gold. So I got them swatched here on my skin tone. I really love it. I've got, I got the 01. And some of the shades there were uh, too... A cool tone to silvery on me so very well loved during the past few days and this is how the shades look like so it really suits my skin tone I really wanted to get the coral one as well or the gold one as well but it wasn't available and I got another lip tint from Dior and this is in the shade 351 or natural nude and that's how it is swatched on my skin tone so it's basically uh, your lips but better like pinkish just bitten kind of a look on the lips so these were the only beauty products that I um, bought last part of this Amsterdam haul I may have really um, controlled myself when it came to beauty products and perfumes but when it came to books I really just you know yeah, I just had to get everything. So anyway, the second day we went to the Rijksmuseum and the Modern Contemporary Art Museum or MoCo Museum. It's in the Museum Plein area. So it's all just museums there. Um, we only went to those two museums uh, on our second day. So this is Still Life with Flowers by Rachel Ruish. I don't know. But I think I got a photo. I don't know if it's this one or another still life with flowers that I'm going to post a photo of that I took with um, an another person. And this Carol Apple Square Man. It's one of the paintings that I really wanted to see there. So the Rijksmuseum. These were the postcards and the Franz Hals um, magnet that I got because that was the exhibit that they had at that time. I should have gotten this book first, but um, I went to the collection the galleries first before I went to the shop I should have gotten this one first but the Rex Museum is huge I got lost almost like twice in that museum and I got the Rex Museum in detail which is basically 50 sheets of like fold outs of all the paintings and in detail it will show you when we were there I we didn't get the audio guide we usually get audio guides but I just wanted to experience um, the museum in my own time so the Rijksmuseum in detail, and I had to get the Franz Hals book because that was the um, exhibit that was there. So Franz Hals, and I got a free calendar. And you know, the cashier was like, we got a free calendar, you wanna get one? Like, yes, please. Rijksmuseum calendar, and it has paintings. I get so excited when I share these things, you guys, you know. I'm very excited when it comes to beauty and perfumes, but these stuff, man super excited so these were the stuff that i got from the reichs museum so we went to the modern contemporary arts museum of amsterdam or the moco museum it's a very nice house it's pink the logo is pink you know get pink everything and you know this one i got the postcard it's free and this like brochure and the book itself from the moco is pink but this one is basically just um banksy uh, um, portraits and I think they had, they, they had Yayoi there, Banksy, they had some NFTs. The Moko Museum was for my son and my husband. My husband is very familiar and he loves Banksy and my son loved, wanted to see like the bare bricks and these um, works as well. So the Moko Museum was for them, the Rijks Museum was basically for me and my husband. So I got this and we got some magnets as well that I've shown you. The Moco magnet and you know I forgot the name it was a very homey cozy very limited collection in the Moco museum but it took us you know a very short time because it, was, it is a very small museum so you don't really need a lot of time you can be there 30 minutes and you'll be done the next museum that we went to the Van Gogh Van Gogh Van Gogh Van Gogh Van Gogh museum and that's where I got a lot of the books got some postcards I love to buy stuff like these you know because um these are ones that i'm going to be giving away to my friends i'm going to write like letters in them a bookmark i love to buy bookmarks and i got this book this is from the museum itself their own um publication so life according to vincent just some quotes and um stuff that he talked about you know art and life face to face with vincent so just some 
one of his famous paintings and masterpieces in the Van Gogh Museum. I got it here. So yeah, just some stories. We had the audio guide when we were there, but um, yeah, it's good to have memories of, you know, that's, I try to do that. I try to buy as much books that, you know, would really mean a lot to me that when I go over the books, I would remember the experience while I was there. And Matthew Wong, the temporary uh, collection in the Van Gogh Museum. Um, he was inspired by Vincent Van Gogh and um, Van Gogh. And um, yeah, a story about his paintings. He had a lot of his paintings um, in that collection. Really, really very, very inspiring um, story about Matthew. Died at age 35, born 1984. This is why I love art so much. Like, I may not know the specific techniques or details. I may not paint my, you know, I don't even paint myself. I don't draw, but it's the experience and the emotions while you're there. And living through other people's lives and experiences and how they saw the world through their paintings. That's really just magical. So that is it for today's video. This is my Amsterdam haul. Um, I think I'm going to be putting out a vlog like I will put together snippets and photos of our time we were there to document you know for me and also for my family for them to be able to watch it and to be able to share with you guys so anyway that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching like I always say in every single content have fun much love stay safe and see you in my next videos